In this video, we're going to review the brand new Xiaomi Scooter 4 Ultra, the latest and greatest that was literally just announced a few weeks ago at MWC 2023. The biggest thing I'll probably say is I've been using the Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro for the last six months. So everything that I'm gonna share with you guys today is based on how much improvement they've done from the Pro to the Ultra. And also, did it actually, well, did they make the improvements in the right spots to make it truly an Ultra Scooter if you're considering to get the best that's gonna be available on the market? This is TK and this is my review of the Xiaomi Scooter 4 Ultra and all of the things that makes this such a good scooter to ride. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So first thing obviously we're going to talk about is the unboxing experience and what do you need to do. So everything is pretty much in one big box and they were shipped to me and of course it's already kind of pre-assembled for the most part with the exemption of the handlebar. They include five screws in the bag and that allows you to basically mount the handlebar because I think otherwise it doesn't stay that, uh, that flat in a box. Uh, but overall taking it out of the box and then mounting everything um, just make sure a little bit of a tip when you're mounting the handle make sure that the light is facing outwards not towards the scooter and then you're going to be doing well because i did that again the same thing with my scooter 4 pro and i put in the handle backwards but i realized it and i did it again it's very easy and very simple and they do include an extra screw in case you lose one um, everything else as far as the actual packaging is pretty much straightforward the charging brick with the power cable is already in there and it does actually connect directly into the scooter to charge it they did improve the charging time here up to 6.5 hours and then otherwise they're pretty much set uh, there's a few extra things in there that they share with you guys of course on how to be able to clamp it and unclamp it I will say though that the clamping mechanism on the actual arm uh, on the boom is actually more improved uh, than what we saw last year last year was basically one cl click now we actually have three different options first when you open it up it clamps well it clicks into space and it's pretty much sturdy and then you have a two-step uh, function on the side that you actually have to put it over and they provide you the instructions on how to do it definitely much more secure when it's basically standing up and then when you're putting it back down it's pretty much the same experience it's uh, the there's a little bit of a hook right behind the bell and then you hook it up to the back which is right above the rear wheel and of course it provides you the ability to have it like as a handle to carry the scooter with you uh, but that's pretty much it actually there's really not much to do uh, unbox it connect the actual handlebars charge it up and then you're ready to go and well actually you do need to connect it to the app so as far as the experience here is very similar to what we saw with the 4 pro uh, no real big difference here the, other than the fact that it does charge faster and it is a little bit of a different configuration now what i do want to talk about before we go into obviously the app and all of that the design on both the ultra and the pro are similar although there's big differences the 4 ultra or the ultra is definitely higher bigger we have a bigger battery we obviously have longer range the same size tires they're both 10 inch tires although we definitely have better tires on here and we went up from an ipx4 to an ip55 rating to be able to allow for better um, i would say splash resistance and not not having too much of an issue uh, as far as being concerned when you're outdoors the other thing i will say also is the fact that it is a little bit higher the wheel uh, the basically the the baseboard where you're standing where the batteries are are actually positioned higher off the ground which also provides a little bit of better experience for the suspension since we have a both front and back suspension that's positioned here and it does actually uh, improve the rideability of the scooter much much more than even though the 4 pro is really comfortable the 4 ultra is extremely comfortable that's how the difference is there now when it comes down to the control on this is pretty straightforward you do need to download the me home application and log in with your account once you have that, you connect over, uh, basically pair a new device, connect over Bluetooth directly into the scooter. And this is pretty much how you're going to be communicating with the scooter from now on. It is a Bluetooth enabled functionality, meaning if I have to download and update the software, which there was one update, that'll go over Bluetooth, connect and then set up everything is working there. Uh, the one thing I will say, there is no other configuration like a, a key fob or anything like that to be able to lock the scooter. You are able to lock it in the actual app once you configure it, so that's something to keep in mind. So if you want to step away from it and you don't want somebody accidentally to turn it on and run, you could definitely do that. Um, although I will recommend you getting some kind of a change to tie it uh, to something because it, overall it's still somewhat of a portable experience. Um, I will say while we're talking about the actual weight and portability of it, it is a little bit heavier. I would say maybe about 25% heavier than what the 4 Pro is. Not heavy enough that you cannot carry it. I'm just saying because I've been using the 4 Pro uh, for the long time, I actually got used to the weight so I can just pick up and walk. The 4 Ultra definitely has a little bit more weight but should not be an issue to carry up and down the stairs. Uh, the range is also one of the biggest things that they've done there. So 
When it comes down to the app, and I want to talk a little bit more about that, when you log into the app and you're setting it up, um, obviously there's going to be a firmware, it'll tell you, you can install it. Uh, they have the built-in maintenance now option as well to make sure that you're always maintaining your tires. The new tires are still are still the 10-inch puncture-proof tires with Duragel tires, which enables them to actually have that resilience that you want for comfort. So it's not just based, built in directly into the suspension, but it also built into how the tires are set up. And one of the things they've done in the app is that it reminds you to basically maintain them at least once a month. Once you're done with that, the app itself is pretty much straightforward. It gives you the range of how much miles you have left. If you fully charged it, it should go all the way up to about 45 miles or roughly about 70 kilometers. And that's going to be the range that you're going to see there. This is where the improvement is from last time. We went up to 70 kilometers and again, about 45 miles, which is longer than what we had with the Ford Pro. We also have more power with the rear wheel drive here up to 940 watts over the 700 that we had before, which makes it even more comfortable when you're going down and up inclines and declines up to 25 degrees now over the 20 from last time. The big difference here is that even though you're going up and it's not that big of an incline difference, the performance is what's more consistent there. Although I'm still run, I'm, well, I'm still riding it, the speed doesn't drop dramatically where you're going very slowly up. It actually stays more consistent with what you're doing. Uh, the maximum speed is rated to be about 25 kilometers, which is roughly about 15 miles. And what I will say is as long as the surface is flat, you're going to get that 15 miles radius or 15 miles an hour speed all the way up to 45 miles. Uh, and if you're going on an incline, you're going to go down. Basically, it drops to about 11 uh, miles speed. And if you're going down on an uh, going downwards, the big thing I will probably say is if you have your regenerative battery set up to be low, it can go all the way up to 18 miles on speed. And if you have it set to medium or high, it'll reduce the difference because that's when it starts regenerating some of that power. It's when you're taking your finger off the, uh, the, the gas and you're allowing it to basically slow down on its own naturally. Uh, the big thing I will say though is for long rides, uh, everything was super comfortable. Uh, it was really nice to use it. Uh, as I'm showing you guys with a lot of the footage I'm showing you guys here, we have an area where we have called, they're called Paseos essentially. That allows me to basically ride the scooter for an extended amount of time and never ever even having to actually ride it on the road. Um, but I like to use my scooter to go down to the post office, to go, to go down to the grocery store and go places where I technically don't want to get in the car and drive and do things like that. For me, it's much more functional this way because we have such a network to support it. Uh, the ride itself is really nice, very comfortable. I uh, almost never have to worry about charging it. But what I really like about it is that the moment I turn on the scooter, it tells me exactly how much range I have left. It doesn't give me that whole, I have to figure out what's going on. And that's one of the biggest things. Now, I mentioned to you guys at the beginning that this has all the way up to 940 watts worth of power on that rear wheel motor that we have. The difference here is that this is based on four different speed modes that you're able to pick, which is also an improvement from last year. We had three modes with the Pro, now we have four modes. The Sport Plus gives us the ability to tap into that full potential, and that's where I'm experiencing, I'm, Kind of referencing most of my information. I like to keep it in Sports Plus because I want to get the best performance as much as possible. And for me, it's been absolutely great. If you want to get a little bit more of a smoother ride, you can drop it down to pedestrian uh, speed or even going a little bit higher and it can adjust to whatever your liking is going to be there. It is a little bit taller, so just be aware of that. But once you're standing on it, the suspension drops a little bit and it kind of becomes a little bit more comparable to what we see with the 4 Pro. Um, as far as the overall rating here, we went from an IPX4 to an IP55 to handle water and uh, basically splashes as you're riding without having any concerns. So everything is kind of a little bit more durable there. And I feel like, you know, Xiaomi did a really decent job there and gives us that better experience. The weight capacity is pretty much the same, 120 uh, kilograms. That's going to be the maximum weight capacity. It's about 265 pounds, so no problem at all for me. And of course, uh, there's still some headroom for me to reach that maximum weight capacity. Uh, maximum speed is 25 kilometers, as I said, about 15 miles, and maximum range about 70 kilometers, which is about 45 miles. So it's still much better, much more improved, and again went from the 700 watts to 700, no, 940 watts on the Ultra. And as far as the battery capacity, we went from a 446 watt hour battery to a 561 watt hour battery. So definitely a big improvement that not only gives us the power capacity to be able to handle, but also that range that we were talking about. Uh, one of the biggest things for me as far as using a scooter overall is how does the, my body feel after riding a scooter for an amount of time? There's the enjoyment factor, which is in the moment when you're on the scooter. But then a lot of times, depending on you know, your experience and who you are, um, if you, the ride isn't as smooth or as um, I would say comfortable that it should be, where the suspension is not absorbing a lot of the bumps from the road, you can get off the scooter and feel like your knees have been basically taking a lot of pounding. And I do have problems with my right knee and I've known this for many years. 
but this is where it really becomes very comfortable. The 4 Pro did a really good job of making it a very comfortable ride. The Ultra just took it to the next level. Uh, not only did I almost not feel any issues at all in the in the configuration the way it is, the Sport Plus, which I decided to keep with, does go faster. And with that even, it still handled uh, the bumps and everything on the road very, very nicely. And after 45 minutes to an hour worth of riding, not only did I not feel anything, I came back more energized and I wanted to go back out and go for another ride. So that's really one of the big things I loved about this. It's comfortable, it's durable, it goes longer, it has more power, and there's, again, where all of the improvements go from a pro to an ultra. So we're gonna do an acceleration and a brakes test. So this is from Zero Sport Mode Plus. Let's go. Push a little bit. And 10, 12. And now decrease. So at the end of the day, what did Xiaomi do here essentially is that they took all of the great things on the Scooter 4 Pro and they basically made it even better. And I feel like this is where I enjoy the fact that this is definitely a little bit more powerful, more ruggedized, and of course, a little bit bigger physically even to be able to carry with you when you're going around. It's a little heavier than, let's say, the Scooter 4 Pro. I'll probably say it's about maybe 25% heavier when you're kind of carrying one over the other. And I've kind of gotten used to the 4 Pro and this is where I'm kind of referencing it from there. It's not impossible to carry, it's definitely nice. Um, I would have liked to have a, maybe a key fob, a little, something a little bit more secure than just having Bluetooth connectivity, because out of the box, you can technically turn it on and ride it, like that's one thing you could do without even having to connect it to your phone. Although you are able to lock it in the application, as I'm showing you guys, with the app, the Mi Home application that you're able to set up. And again, everything kind of runs over Bluetooth, so just be aware of that functionality. Um, updates, everything, all of that is in there. I like the new mechanism that we have to lock the actual arm. It's definitely very nice. I like the clearance off the ground. I like the design. It's a little bit more spacey. Like I feel like it's a little bit more um, like, like a hoverboard, almost like a little bit. That's how I feel like when I'm riding it. Uh, the bounce on it is definitely very nice and you can feel the suspension definitely feel much better as opposed to some of the other options on the market where the tires just take most of the actual, uh, you know, the suspension kind of does a little bit more um, in the sense of where the tires are. The 10 inch tires are definitely very nice. The maintenance functionality is really good. And I love overall the design and the aesthetic. So I definitely would recommend this to anybody looking to get one of the better options on the market as far as it comes down to a scooter. And again, there is also a lot of accessories that uh, Xiaomi did showcase at the beginning. I think was it like a carrier, a uh, helmet, uh, some gloves and the different things that they were basically putting in as part of the ecosystem. Um, I don't have any of those, but if I do have an option to check those out, I'll make sure to do a separate video for you guys. Overall, the F Scooter 4 Ultra is literally the best scooter I've ever seen from Xiaomi and I cannot believe that I've had the opportunity to not only try it but I get a chance to enjoy it on a daily basis. So let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of the Scooter 4 Ultra? Have you tried any of the earlier generations from scooters from Xiaomi? Because I can assure you that this literally takes everything that we've ever known and makes it so much better. This is TK. Thank you very much to Xiaomi for sending me the Scooter 4 Ultra to check out and share with you guys my thoughts. Thank you very much for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.